Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, some things I changed from last time. I noticed that my audio was a little messed up and it was kind of hard to hear me at all. So, uh, I've turned the audio down. I mean, I mean, I didn't really say too much, but you know, any little comments and stuff, I'd like to like you guys to hear me. A little narcissistic about that. Either way, uh, so let's continue right where we left off. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. This is ahead. interesting. Stop! What? Yes. Make way. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. <laughs> I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. <laughs> this is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Whoa. A lot of, uh... Head brigade, your kind, sir. Non human. Don't be unreasonable. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, okay, gotcha. It's alright. Shh, it's fine. It's a yonder I did not care. Discipline. That is what you folk lack. Oof. What's up, bro? What? Like that? Hey! I am Medetta, Estra SN Novigrad. We must requisition the share of your harvest. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Show me what you're peddling.
probably don't have enough to buy it, though. Oh, I do. you to craft something for me. Uh, okay. Holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Wow, man, you're really, Incidentally, uh... did you wish to buy something? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Kind of berate me, then so you're long. Like, oh, uh, when, uh, by the way, sell stuff too. All right. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses. These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? I kind of like this guy. Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Well, at least this guy's gonna... Oh, thank you, sir. Thank wow. you kindly. I, I like summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? <laughs> there is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Ooh, okay. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. Good. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. Seriously, though, I do like this guy. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Dang. Maybe yeah, since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. 
I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Ooh, banter. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. All right, man. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Monsters! Monsters from the swamp! Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked. Ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, oh. hooves and all. All right. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. It's kind of... Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Well, how do I... Okay.
this one by accident. Hey, yeah. Ah, oh. oops. Sorry, I'm not sorry. That's the way it is. Looking for trouble. Ah! It will eat myrtle grass during the hunger again. What a stuff pop. Slower. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to kind do for drunk. her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But... Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for buckthorn. So kind of know if it grows around. anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. Mm. I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars something something. Ah, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. Ooh. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Alright, so I guess I can have a little uh, chance here. I could help her, but could also hurt her. Yes? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. Mm. There was a boy, Gozlath, 
He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Mm. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Farewell. Okay. So... Oh, nope. Huh. Swallow. I need... Okay, I need... Celadine? Drown her brain. Dwarven spirit. Celadine. Drown her brain. Okay. Z. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Okay, so I'll buy. Eh, whatever. No, 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 no. Have that much. Buy one of those. I need two of those. I probably need, yeah, I'm probably gonna need to go get the probably going to need yeah the get the drowned braids myself. Alright. See, this is one of those things where it's like I feel like I'm gonna get sidetracked Farewell. very quickly, very easily. Alright, I'm going to do this. Come here, you. Piece it. Oh, okay, you're stuck. You idiot. Alright. Get up! That's it, Roach. Faster. I want to see if I can't. Come on now. Get these drowner brains up here. All right, I need to just turn around. Get up. So I know I saw a creature that was called Drowners. Uh, he was here. That's it, Roach. Freak. Whoa. I'm here to help. <laughs> sure. I do find that Faster. interesting. These people are like, oh, you're such a freaks. How dare they come in? Here and then, uh, who's the first person to turn to? The uh, freak. Slower.
Where's that? Creatures. Creatures? Aha. I see you over there. Riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. Oh, it's riddled with arrows. Merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. 